What do you think of when you think of a national park? Perhaps Yellowstone, glaciers, miles of forest, bears? Well, it turns out there's one right in your own backyard, and you probably didn't even know about it. It's a big treasure hidden in a small Oklahoma town, and I went to Guthrie to find it. Walk through downtown Guthrie, blink, and you'll miss it. Guess where the national park is? Wrong. See, the minute you look away, I just yell, wrong. <laughs> I looked down the Yeah, street. and they go, no, that's not it. Because it, it surely it's, couldn't be this. It couldn't right be, in front of me. but it is. <laughs> yep, it's true. Right across from City Hall, a pint sized park big enough for a single elm. We have the smallest national park in the entire United States. But even the smallest park needs a devoted caretaker. And that's where Ranger Stacy Frazier comes in, makeshift badge and all. It's a trunk lid badge from a 72 Cadillac. I said, I don't care. It's shiny, it has ducks on it, and technically it's a badge. Hey, whatever works, right? But you're probably wondering why one tree? Well, Ranger Stacy says it was a bit of an oops. When Guthrie was celebrating statehood in the early 1900s, they wanted to set aside a chunk of land to commemorate the location of the original land run office. And as it turns out, the small park is a result of a big paperwork mistake. The city clerk at the time, instead of writing a parcel of land, 100 foot square, wrote a parcel of land, 100 square feet. And while she hasn't had a single bear sighting on her watch, it's actually the smaller residents that bring the biggest problems. The squirrels get a little rowdy, and you know we've had a couple of couple of rogue squirrel gangs come through that we tried to straighten out. But for now, the coast is clear. In the meantime, this ranger hopes to open the eyes of those who might have blinked, walking past a little piece of Oklahoma history. Isn't that fantastic? Amazing. And she had the, the Cadillac badge uh, right here, but the one you didn't see on her arm is a Star Trek badge. So she's she an elite put. ranger there, clearly. Yes, and also want to mention this because a lot of you have actually looked up this list on the National Parks website and said, I couldn't find Guthrie anywhere. Right. Well, it turns out this little plot of land is technically listed as a landmark, and okay. those are actually overseen by the National Park Service. So it makes it a national park. By default. Right, I'm glad the Rangers there keeping us safe from those bears. Yes, yeah. she is. So, anyway, the more you know out of Guthrie there this morning. <laughs>